That's kind of cool. You never see the like pre-movie merchandise really anymore. Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I am going to be bringing you guys along with me on a little vlog. I'm going to go out shopping. I've got a couple things to unbox with you and just kind of bring you along on my little bit of a magical day and some of it might be not so magical. But <laughs> before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> All right, yes, we're gonna be going on a little bit of a magical vlog today. I'm gonna take you guys along with me shopping a little bit, but I actually have a couple things to unbox. <laughs> so I might as well unbox it with you guys and show you the few things that I've ordered online. One is from Hot Topic and the other one is Pottery Barn Teen. And I'm really surprised by the Pottery Barn Teen getting here so quickly, because if it's what I think it is, because I don't look like I ordered anything else, I ordered stuff on Black Friday and today is only Monday. And I ordered this on Friday, so I'm a little confused at what is in here. It's very light, but I don't know how it got to me so quickly. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, got the box open here. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it is my order. This is so crazy. Today is only Monday. How did this get to me so fast? I'm just so shocked because Pottery Barn Team usually takes forever whenever I order something, but this is my Black Friday order, so I'll show it to you. I didn't get much, but they did have some great sales. So the first item that I got is a pillow cover. And look how stunning this is. It's of Hogwarts, and it's so beautiful and magical. It's like this velvety material. Look at the details. And all the corners have these little tassels on them so cute it's so soft even the front is soft this is more like canvasy material and it's got some stitching and then this is just super soft and this is even beading oh that's so cute i don't have any pillow covers from pottery barn teen so this is my first one but this is the name of it i want to say this is 40 dollars normally i can't remember exactly i'll leave the links for everything down in the description box below if you are interested in finding this but i only paid 20 bucks so I thought that was reasonable for a pillow. And then I still need to put an insert in there, but you can get them on Amazon for like seven, eight dollars. So that's not bad. I'm excited. That's so pretty. I want I wish I got more. <laughs> but it's okay. I love that. So very happy about that. And then I've got this box, and then I've got these boxes to open up. I know I bought some ornaments, and I'm pretty sure that's what all these are. But now I'm like, how many ornaments did I buy? So all the ornaments, I think, retail normally for $20 and I paid $15 on the Black Friday sale. Wow. Look how pretty. This is Hedwig holding her letter. That's a lot bigger than I thought it was too, so that's nice. Not very heavy. I think it's gonna go great on the tree. And I do have my Harry Potter Christmas tree, that video coming out soon. I know I just uploaded the Honeydukes one, so you'll be seeing my actual Harry Potter Christmas tree that's in my living room, the bigger one, in the next video after this. So this will definitely be going on it. It's very like gold themed, has a lot of golds and greens on it. So that's why I just love the ornaments over at Pottery Barn Teen. That's going to be a great piece. I think I accidentally ordered two of these. I gotta look at my order again because oh, that's concerning. <laughs> look how thin this is. So I end up getting two of these. I have to check online real quick and see if I ordered two of these because I didn't mean to. Okay, so I just checked my order online. I only ordered one of these, but they sent me two. So that's kind of cool. If you wanna, I don't know if you can see my screen, but I'm just gonna show you on here. That is the Elder Wand. Sorry, I'm showing you online. <laughs> I'm showing you what it is already. But I only ordered one. It says quantity one. So yes, I paid 15 for this and I paid 19 for the pillowcase. So at least I have my order here in front of me now. But let's just open it up so you can see it. I'm so happy I got two for the price of one. I mean, everything there is so expensive. So I got two of these Elder Wand ornaments and they are so cute. They're very thin, super lightweight. 
They're gonna look so good in the tree though. Okay, and then we got one more ornament in this order. This is so much bigger than I thought it was. I wish I got a couple of these. It's the mirror of Erised. And this is actually a mirror, like there's my hand. It's just like a little bench and some stuff over there, <laughs> Christmas stuff. <gasps> this size though, it's like as big as my hand. It's so nice. And look at the detail. So pretty. And this was also $15. Like, can't believe that just one wand is $15 and then this mirror is 15 because the difference. I could see people spending more money on this normally, but oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so in total, let's go over them again. We got, I got ended up getting two elder ones for the price of one, so happy about that. I have my mirror of Erised and I've got my Hedwig ornament. So I can't wait to add these to my Christmas tree. Definitely be on the lookout for that video coming out soon. Hopefully I can have that one out by Friday or Saturday, we'll see. And I hope I have this one out by Wednesday, December 1st. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> so that was my complete Black Friday order from Pottery Barn Teen. So excited that that came in. I do have one more package to unbox. It's just one item. Well, it's actually two, because I picked one up for a friend. This is so cool. Okay, this is from Hot Topic, and it's a sign, and it's the Nocturne Alley sign. Look how cool, pointy finger and all. The only thing I wish it didn't have is the Harry Potter logo on the front just because that's not like authentically what it looks like in the trademark information on the very bottom here like that's kind of lame but other than that it's so small and it's gonna be hanging up on a wall so you probably won't notice it you could paint over it too but I just don't want to mess with it because I don't trust myself <laughs> but this is so cool this is $14.90 from Hot Topic really cool find and I can't wait to hang this up and I do want to put on this wall over here it's empty I want to make it like a photo collage type of wall and I want to put like little signs like this on it and that's why I want to start collecting some pieces like this and more prints and artwork so if you have any recommendations definitely leave some comments down below to let me know any prints or artists that you would recommend but that's my little order from Hot Topic I just got two of them because I picked one extra up for a friend but yeah so happy so that's everything I have to unbox now I want to head out and actually go shopping I need to go to Hobby Lobby I need to actually look for rugs we're getting a new couch that was another Black Friday purchase spent a lot of money this Black Friday <laughs> but we really needed a new couch and it's perfect because we're gonna have company over for the Christmas time so it will actually be arriving this week which is amazing because a lot of places don't have stock <laughs> but we are expecting a couch soon but I want to get a new area rug because if you know I have a dog the rug we have currently very dingy and I just think it'll be nice to get a nice fresh new rug with the couch so we'll see if I find anything at Hobby Lobby if not it's fine <laughs> and I also want to go to an antique store because I have a friend that lives here locally that showed me that they have some Harry Potter antique items I guess is what you would call it they're like pre movie Harry Potter merchandise so I want to check that out I do have something that's pre Harry Potter merchandise and it's actually from the same friend <laughs> she actually gave this to me as a gift it was something that they actually grew up um, that she actually had in like her childhood so she gave that to me because she knows how much I appreciate Harry Potter items it's so cool it's a little Hogwarts and it opens up and all kinds of stuff so we'll see if we can find any other stuff I hope they still have it she sent that to me like a week ago and I just haven't had the time to stop in there just yet but let's go ahead and get ready and head out and I'll check in with you guys once I go into some of the shops and stuff all right before we head out gotta let my dog out It's such a beautiful day out today. She always has to check the trees, see if there's any squirrels in the yard. All right, so still sniff around. And then we'll head out. So we made it to the antique shop first and it is so cute in here. This little area is where I found the Harry Potter stuff. I was so glad that they had it. They had so many cute little things. So right up here is 
all of the pre-movie Harry Potter merchandise. Like there's Harry Quidditch outfit, only $7. They were priced super reasonably. The fluffy was $12. And they're all in pretty good condition considering how old they probably are. And then here's the Gilderoy Lockhart one. And he's got a little cage where the pesky piskies have escaped. There's even some books in there. They even had coloring books. And then they had this interesting book, Who Killed Albus Dumbledore? Never seen this before. It looked like it was in brand new condition. Only $8. Let me know if you've seen this one before. Just had to flip through real quick. Just a bunch of text, stuff about Holcruxes. Very interesting. This is just some more stuff in this area. And then if you just look a little bit below, there was more Harry Potter items. So this kind of goes with that Hogwarts building that I already have. Only $4 for that piece. This is Hagrid's hut. I actually have this one. I just don't have it displayed. Only $3. And here is little Quidditch Harry. He has a golden snitch in his hand. And that's only $4. Trying to put it on there, but I don't know how it works. <laughs> and I'm doing it with one hand. And here's a Whomping Willow for $3. And it opens up and some spiders. Why does it have to be follow the spiders? <laughs> and this Hermione bookend I thought was so nice. But yeah, this is the little area. Now off to home goods. So I arrived here and I checked out the rugs. Didn't find anything that I really liked, but now I have to check out throughout the store, see if I can find any Harry Potter goodies. That little Winnie the Pooh is super cute. Nothing Harry Potter over here, but of course in the mug section, that's usually where you can find something Harry Potter. And I found this Hogwarts Crest mug, only $4.99. The crest is on both sides. I've never seen this one before. I like the maroon color. And then Shroot Farms, bed and breakfast from the office. So cool. Never seen that before either. They always have some cool mug finds in this area. Here's a little Minnie Mouse for you Disney fans. She was very cute too. And some salt and pepper shakers. And then over here by these tumblers, they have a bunch of little fandoms. And of course I found Harry Potter. <laughs> so there was a Hogwarts crest one. And there's these little like Tibby Harry Golden Trio. These were just plastic cups with lids and a straw. $5.99. And one last Harry Potter thing I found at Home Goods before we leave is this Memory Master for $6.99. And then before checkout, I saw these glasses, which totally could be Harry's. All right, so I'm back in my car and I just went to that antique shop and it was so cute. I ended up just getting one thing. I did want more than one thing, but I wanted the fluffy and the um, Hermione bookend, but I'm kind of getting to that point where it's like, I don't have that much storage and do I really, really want it? I wasn't sure. So I decided not to get it, and then if I change my mind and I go back and it's still there, then it's meant to me. If I go back and it's not there, then it's not meant to be. That's kind of how I was looking at it. But the one thing I did get was this little Hermione plaque. It says, Caution, Witchcraft and Wizardry Practiced Here. And then here's the back. So it has the licensing information where you can hang it. And this was $5, so... What a great deal. I thought it was so cute and I could hang it up. I can make it a Christmas ornament if I wanted to. Like this has string on it right now, but I can always add a hook to it and hang it up on my tree. It's kind of heavy, but I thought it was so cute. 
And then maybe I'll get the fluffy in the Hermione bookend. I don't know. I'm just not sure. So I just got the one thing, but I thought that was such a cool find there. You never see the like pre-movie merchandise really anymore. So you can find some of it on like eBay, Mercari, but they're really good prices too. Like if you look at prices from like eBay, Mercari, and then what I showed you just now at that shop, like those are really reasonable. But yeah, that's what I found there. I thought that was fun. I've actually never been to that antique shop before and it was so cute. I'm definitely going to go back. There's like it's like a really big building and then it has like little individual shops throughout it. So cute. Such a smart idea. I love it. Um, there's like homemade stuff. There was just like antique stuff. There's all kinds of things. Antique. <laughs> and then I went to Home Goods. Did not find a rug that I liked. They had a big selection, just not anything that I wanted. But <laughs> that's okay. I'll just have to shop online. But if you did see, I did show you. Sorry, my bag. I did find a couple Harry Potter things. I only bought one Harry Potter thing though, and it was this mug. And it's like glittery. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but the gold part is all glittery. It's so cute. It's like this maroon color. Just a simple mug for only $4.99. Like, what a deal. I saw the other ones, I don't know why, that were $7.99. And this one was only $4.99, so I'm like, I'll just get this one. It doesn't look chipped or nothing, but thought that was cool. And I ended up picking up this Shroot Farms mug. I love The Office. It's another one of my favorites. I could watch that like all the time on repeat, but such a cute, fun shaped, like beet mug. I thought it was so cool. It's really big. Like look at the comparison, but very cute. Great finds. Had to pick those up. There was like that Harry Potter game and there was that other cup, but it was really chintzy, and for the price, I just didn't think it was worth it, so I didn't get that. But that's everything that I found so far shopping. I do need to go grocery shopping, and then I'll probably be heading back home. I don't think I'm going to stop into any more stores. I did check Aldi, because I heard they had, like, the Hogwarts Express train that you can um, put, like, around your Christmas tree or just on display. But my Aldi didn't have it. I don't know if that's something I just missed out on because they didn't go early enough, or they did have it this year, maybe last year. I just checked, but they didn't have anything Harry Potter at Aldi, so I didn't film in there. But yeah, it's been fun. Nice little relaxing day. Popping into some of the shops. But I think that's everything. I'll probably close this out pretty soon and meet you back home to do so. But I hope you guys have had fun coming along with me and stopping into some of these shops and checking things out. All right, I thought I was going to be heading home, but I'm not. I'm actually going to stop into Target real quick. I'm here right now. I'll show you any of the Harry Potter stuff that they currently have, but I actually just have to make a return, so hopefully I don't buy anything. But it's Target, so we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, hopping in there real quick, and then I think I'll meet you back home. All right, we found some Harry Potter stuff here in Target. This is a little, like, nightlight. And I think this would be cool lit up. Probably see the little figures on the wall. And they had the Hogwarts Crest Lamp too for $29.99. I love it. It's so cool. The actual crest is only plastic, but the base is metal. And I like this little switch that it has. I think that's really cool. And I love the shade. Then I found this in the book section, A Magical Year. This is a newer book. It has a bunch of dates, I don't know much about it, and a lot of really beautiful illustrations. There's Hermione. So gorgeous. This dragon though. And then they had these little Funko mini moments. I believe they're all set in the potions classroom. Here is Ron. They're so cute and little. Draco and Harry. Pretty adorable, but I don't collect these. All right, I didn't find anything at Target. I'm now at the grocery store and then I'll be heading home. <laughs> but I just wanted to say I was really good at Target. I didn't buy anything. They did have the lamps in stock, the like 
little nightlight looking one and like the full size lamp, the Hogwarts one, the gold one. That one's so cute. And then I checked out the Funko Pops because they did have a new release, but it looks like someone already cleaned them out. They only had like the little classroom set ones, which I just showed, but they didn't have the actual like Funkos that line that just dropped. I really want to get the Gringotts one, I think. I've been debating it. I didn't pre-order it. So I was hoping I could find it in the store, but I didn't see it there. There, So yeah, that was everything at Target. Now I have to get some of my muggle grocery stuff, you know, <laughs> and then I'll be heading home to close out the video. All right, that is going to wrap up today's magical vlog. Let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed a vlog like this and you want to see more in the future. I can definitely do that for you if you are interested in it. But as always, if you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!